You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Hello, I'm Stacy Campbell with K-State Research and Extension of Ellis County. Well, I'm out here in the middle of an alfalfa field, and it's a little past mid-March, and with this warm spring weather we've been having, uh, things are starting to grow and green up, and also insects are starting to become active. The alfalfa weevil is actually more of a kind of a cooler weather insect. Once uh, temperatures get up above 48 degrees uh, for several days and uh, for several concurrent days, and there's enough uh, heat units that build up, then they can start becoming active and start feeding the alfalfa weevil larva. And we're starting to see that in these alfalfa fields. You have to look real closely. It's going to be hard to find the larva. They're very small right now. But you can see some of the feeding on some of the leaves and terminals by the small little uh, pinprick type holes that are in the leaves. Uh, so it's time to get out and start scouting your alfalfa fields. Once you have about 30 to 50 percent infestation of the alfalfa weevil larva in your field, it's probably time to, to do an insecticide treatment. Um, that equates to about one to two larvae per stem. And I, like I say, they're very small and hard to see, so you may have to look more for the feeding, or you will, on the leaves and the terminals. Uh, and once you think you've reached about that 30 to 50 percent feeding uh, out in the field from these larvae, then it's probably time to start treating. Uh, definitely it'll probably a little earlier this year to be treating, but the things are just moving along quicker with the mild winter that we've had. So, once again, I would encourage producers, if you've got alfalfa fields and you're wanting to try to achieve uh, good yields with them, uh, usually having a spray for the alfalfa weevil is something you have to do, um, but maybe just spraying by a particular date each year isn't always the best thing. It's best to get out and scout those fields and see if you can uh, start seeing some feeding and some damage on those leaves by these little pinprick hoes. Once you've reached about 30 to 50 percent, it's probably time to start treating. And also we've, has, we've got information online uh, on the alfalfa weevil and, and how to, what to look for and how to scout for it. And you can assess that through your local extension office. Well, this has been Stacy Campbell with K-State Research and Extension of Ellis County and Eagle Community Television. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. <laughs>